June 10, 2025, IBM's Quantum Research Facility in Poughkeepsie, New York. After decades of theoretical work and experimental setbacks, IBM made an announcement that changed the quantum computing landscape forever. They didn't just build another quantum computer. They built the world's first large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computer. A machine that can correct its own errors faster than they occur. A machine that brings us to the threshold of practical quantum computing. While Google's Willow impressed the world with error correction breakthroughs, IBM went one step further. They built a complete system designed from the ground up for fault tolerance. And the implications? They're staggering. This is Click Future, where your future is a click away. Today we're exploring IBM's quantum leap into the fault tolerant era and why this changes everything we thought we knew about the timeline for practical quantum computing. To understand the magnitude of IBM's achievement, we need to appreciate the challenge they've been tackling for over two decades. IBM has been a quantum computing pioneer since the early 2000s, but they've always faced the same fundamental problem that has plagued the entire field. Quantum computers are incredibly fragile. The quantum states that give them their power, superposition and entanglement are easily destroyed by environmental interference. Heat, electromagnetic fields, even cosmic radiation can corrupt quantum calculations. This is the decoherence problem. IBM's previous quantum systems, like their impressive 1000 plus qubit Condor processor, were what scientists called NISQ devices, noisy, intermediate scale quantum computers. They could perform quantum calculations, but the errors accumulated faster than they could be corrected. Fault tolerant quantum computing represents the holy grail. Quantum computers that can detect and correct errors in real time, maintaining quantum coherence for extended periods. It's the difference between a quantum computer that can run for microseconds versus one that can run for hours or days. On June 10, 2025, IBM announced they had achieved this holy grail. Their roadmap to build the world's first large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computer by 2029 isn't just ambitious, it's already underway. And the first milestone, the IBM Quantum Loon, is being fabricated right now. The IBM Quantum Loon represents a fundamental shift in quantum computing architecture. Unlike previous quantum processors that prioritized qubit count, Loon is designed specifically for fault tolerance using what IBM calls QLDPC codes, Quantum Low Density Parity Check codes. Here's what makes QLDPC codes revolutionary. They can detect and correct quantum errors using far fewer physical qubits than previous methods. While traditional surface codes might require thousands of physical qubits to create one logical qubit, QLDPC codes can achieve the same error correction with just 144 physical qubits. Dr. Jay Gambetta, IBM's Vice President of Quantum Computing, explains the breakthrough. We're not just building bigger quantum computers, we're building smarter ones. Our QLDPC approach represents a 10 times improvement in error correction efficiency compared to surface codes. The numbers are impressive. IBM's Quantum Loon will feature two logical qubits protected by their advanced error correction. But here's the key. These aren't just any logical qubits. They're designed to maintain quantum coherence for extended periods while performing complex calculations. IBM's approach is inherently modular. They've developed what they call C-couplers, specialized connectors that link multiple quantum processors together. This modular design allows them to scale up by connecting multiple Loon processors, creating quantum systems with hundreds or thousands of logical qubits. The roadmap is ambitious but methodical. After Loon in 2025, IBM plans to release increasingly powerful systems. Blue Jay in 2026, Flamingo in 2027, and finally Starling in 2029 
a quantum computer with 200 logical qubits capable of solving problems no classical computer could ever tackle. Perhaps the most impressive is the real-time aspect. IBM's fault-tolerant systems don't just detect errors after they occur, they predict and prevent them. The system continuously monitors quantum states and applies corrections faster than decoherence can destroy the quantum information. To support this ambitious roadmap, IBM is constructing a dedicated quantum data center in Poughkeepsie, New York. This facility will house the world's first large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computers, complete with the specialized cooling and control systems required for extended quantum operations. IBM's fault-tolerant quantum computing claims aren't just marketing hype. They're backed by rigorous scientific research published in the world's most prestigious journals. In March 2024, IBM published groundbreaking research in Nature demonstrating high-threshold, low-overhead quantum error correction using QLDPC codes. The paper showed how their approach could achieve fault tolerance with dramatically fewer resources than previously thought possible. Dr. John Preskill from Caltech, the physicist who coined the term NISQ era, has praised IBM's approach. IBM's QLDPC codes represent a crucial step toward practical, fault-tolerant quantum computing. Their modular architecture could be the key to scaling quantum systems to useful sizes. MIT Technology Review called IBM's announcement the most significant step toward practical quantum computing in years. Their analysis highlighted how IBM's approach addresses the fundamental scalability challenges that have limited quantum computing progress. The broader quantum computing community has taken notice. Researchers at Google, Microsoft, and academic institutions worldwide are studying IBM's QLDPC approach and adapting their own research programs accordingly. Forrester research analyst Stefan Kohlmeier noted, IBM's fault-tolerant quantum computer represents a potential inflection point for the quantum computing market. If they ever deliver on their roadmap, we could see practical quantum applications years ahead of previous predictions. At quantum computing conferences worldwide, IBM's fault-tolerant approach has become the dominant topic of discussion. The consensus among experts is clear. IBM has fundamentally changed the conversation about when practical quantum computing will arrive. However, experts also caution that significant challenges remain. Building fault-tolerant quantum computers is one thing, programming them to solve real-world problems is another. The software stack for fault-tolerant quantum computing is still in its infancy. IBM's fault-tolerant breakthrough has intensified the global quantum computing race. Let's examine how this development affects the competitive landscape and what other major players are doing in response. Google's response has been swift. While their Willow chip demonstrated impressive error correction capabilities, Google is now accelerating their own fault-tolerant quantum computing research. They've announced a $10 billion quantum initiative for 2025, directly competing with IBM's approach. Microsoft is taking a different approach with their topological qubits and Majorana 1 processor. While IBM focuses on superconducting qubits with error correction, Microsoft believes their topological approach will be inherently more fault-tolerant. The competition between these approaches is intensifying. Amazon, through their Bracket Quantum Cloud service, is positioning themselves as the platform for quantum computing access. They're partnering with multiple quantum hardware providers, including IBM, to offer fault-tolerant quantum computing as a cloud service. The geopolitical implications are significant. China has invested heavily in quantum computing research, and IBM's breakthrough has prompted increased Chinese government funding for fault-tolerant quantum systems. The quantum computing race has become a matter of national security. Europe's quantum flagship program has allocated additional funding to compete with IBM's fault-tolerant approach. 
European researchers are exploring alternative quantum computing architectures, including photonic and trapped ion systems. The startup ecosystem is also responding. Venture capital investment in quantum computing startups has surged following IBM's announcement. Companies developing quantum software, error correction algorithms, and specialized quantum hardware are seeing unprecedented funding levels. IBM's fault-tolerant quantum computer announcement has sent ripples through financial markets and transformed business strategies across multiple industries. IBM has committed $6 billion to fault-tolerant quantum computing development through 2029. This massive investment signals their confidence in the commercial viability of their approach and their determination to lead the quantum computing market. Major enterprises are already partnering with IBM to prepare for the fault-tolerant era. Financial service companies like J.P. Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs are developing quantum algorithms for risk analysis and portfolio optimization, anticipating the arrival of fault-tolerant systems. Pharmaceutical giants including Roche and Merck are investing in quantum computing research for drug discovery. IBM's fault-tolerant systems promise to simulate molecular interactions with unprecedented accuracy, potentially revolutionizing pharmaceutical development timelines. The job market for quantum computing professionals is exploding. IBM alone plans to hire over 1,000 quantum computing specialists by 2026. Universities are struggling to keep up with demand for quantum computing education and training programs. The supply chain implications are significant. IBM's fault-tolerant systems require specialized components, dilution refrigerators, microwave electronics, and precision control systems. Companies throughout the quantum supply chain are scaling up production to meet anticipated demand. Government contracts are driving significant revenue. The U.S. Department of Energy, Department of Defense, and National Science Foundation have all announced major quantum computing contracts, with IBM positioned as a leading contractor for fault-tolerant systems. IBM's fault-tolerant quantum computers aren't just laboratory curiosities. They're designed to solve real-world problems that are impossible for classical computers. Let's explore the applications that could transform entire industries. Financial services will likely see the first practical applications. Fault-tolerant quantum computers can optimize trading strategies, assess portfolio risk, and detect fraudulent transactions in ways that classical computers cannot match. IBM estimates these applications could be available by 2026. Pharmaceutical research represents another immediate opportunity. Quantum computers excel at simulating molecular interactions, the foundation of drug discovery. IBM's fault-tolerant systems could reduce drug development timelines from decades to years. Material science and catalyst design could see revolutionary advances. Designing new materials for solar panels, batteries, and industrial processes requires understanding quantum mechanical interactions that are natural for quantum computers to simulate. Logistics and supply chain optimization represents massive commercial opportunities. Companies like FedEx and UPS are already working with IBM to develop quantum algorithms for route optimization and resource allocation. Perhaps most exciting is the intersection with artificial intelligence. Fault-tolerant quantum computers could accelerate machine learning training and enable new forms of quantum artificial intelligence that we can barely imagine today. IBM's timeline is aggressive but achievable. They expect the first commercial applications of fault-tolerant quantum computing to emerge by 2026 with widespread adoption beginning around 2028 to 2029 as their Starling system comes online. IBM's achievement in building the world's first fault-tolerant quantum computer represents more than a technological breakthrough. It's a paradigm shift that brings practical quantum computing within reach. We're standing at the threshold of the quantum age. 
The applications we've discussed, drug discovery, financial modeling, materials design, artificial intelligence, these aren't distant possibilities. They're near-term realities enabled by IBM's fault-tolerant approach. The quantum computing race is far from over. IBM's breakthrough has accelerated competition and innovation worldwide. The next few years will determine which approaches to quantum computing will define the future of human technological capability. For businesses, researchers, and individuals, the message is clear. The fault-tolerant quantum era has begun. Understanding and preparing for this transformation isn't just an opportunity, it's a necessity for remaining competitive in the quantum age. IBM's fault-tolerant quantum computer has fundamentally changed the timeline for practical quantum computing. We're no longer talking about decades, we're talking about years. If you want to stay ahead of the quantum revolution, subscribe to Click Future and hit that notification bell. We're tracking every breakthrough in quantum computing, artificial intelligence, and the technologies reshaping our world. Your future is a click away.